So, you might be thinking now, okay, great, I can use one mutator, but can I use multiple? And the answer is yes. The question is how? Well, quite simple enough. You simply input the magical comma, and without any spaces, you would say your package dot your mutator class. So same thing. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is in addition to Speed Freak here, I'm going to go ahead and launch the low gravity mutator. So we're going to go ahead and just copy this right here. Again, I found these just from searching in the Visual Studio project. You can do the same. I'm going to go ahead and just a comma paste ut game dot ut mutator low grav. Let's see what happens. Great launch. Just that same stupid warning. And you can check along here. Here we go. Mutators. Speed Freak and Low Gravity. So it has both of those uh, initialized here. Again, you're seeing this fail to start, but that's not a big deal because that's just for Steam. Um, <clears throat> but again, there's no warnings right around this area. So we're good. So it looks like this is all good to go. And again, you can put your trust in me. This is working. So what else is there? Well, to be honest, there are quite a few commands that you can use. <clears throat> this tutorial doesn't deem them necessary at this very moment. If you're watching this tutorial, we're assuming that you just need to get something on the go in order to test your game, and with these base features, you can do that. If you're looking for more in-depth commands, you can definitely Google and find them on the UDK website, and you can just Google UDK command line tools, and it'll show you a full list of commands, which there are a lot of, uh, and anything you're looking for. So I do suggest looking that up if you're more interested in what to do here. The final demo I'm going to give you right now is launching both a mutator and a game type together. And what's great about these command line arguments is, of course, you can enter them in any order. So we'll leave the mutators as they are, and then we'll say question mark game, and we're going to set it back to the team deathmatch type. And we're going to go ahead and just say ut team game. So we'll say question mark game equals, and then we're going to go ahead and paste. There we go, ut game dot ut team game. And let's see what happens. Great, right. same stupid error as always, but we have initialized and the game engine is completed, um, and no warnings down here. You can also see the class is UT Team Game, and again down here we have our mutator specified. So it looks like we're good to go. What's key to remember here is just knowing which game type you're want, trying to specify and what mutators you're specifying. It's also important to note that as you launch these types of games, <clears throat> you will have to know on your own which maps are available to have which game types. For instance, deck can only host Team Deathmatch or Deathmatch game types. If I were to try and specify a Capture the Flag, which I have game type right here, <coughs> it will launch the server. However, you'll see for one thing a significant more amount of warnings, which you just saw in yellow right here. Let's go ahead and maximize this since there's so many. And you'll also see down below we have a lot more random errors. Now, there's no point in actually trying to read them. Honestly, the best way you're going to be able to test this, though, is still by just trying to connect to it. And if you were to connect to it, you could see that you actually would be able to. However, you would never be able to play the game. Uh, in this specific example, what would happen is that you wouldn't be able to spawn because the spawn points for the game type don't match the spawn points for the map for both players and flags, since it is capture the flag. However, on deathmatch deck, there is no available flag spawn point. So again, just make sure you keep in mind which which map your game <coughs> which map. Uh, you have and what game types it supports. So, with that being said, I'm now going to pass it off to Andrew, and he's going to tell you how to connect to all these servers you've just launched. All right, good luck. Hello, my name is Andrew Martz, and I'm with the Guild Hall at SMU's Cohort 17. Today, I'll be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up a dedicated server and how to join it using UDK. First, open up the command line and navigate to location of your game's exe. I'll be using the, the default one located here. First, the command, use the command um, udk.exe followed by server to specify that you want to run your game as a server, a dedicated server, followed by the map that you want to open. Uh, in this instance I'll use uh, DM deck, which is included with the UDK. Then followed by the parameter dedicated equals true. This makes sure that we're running our server as solely a dedicated server. Go ahead and 
enter. So now we have a server running on this machine. You can see that it's running DM deck as its map, and there are currently no players in the game. Next, to join the server, you want to open up an instance of your game. I'll do that now. Once the game is open, hit the tilde key to open up the console. We'll next use the command open to join a server. Depending on whether or not the server is on the same machine as you're running the game, you can either enter in the localhost IP or the IP of the machine that has the server running. In this case, I'm going to use the localhost. So open. And I can just do tab complete because it's it's already in there, and hit enter. So right now there are no players in this map, but you can see that uh, I've joined a game. If I quickly tab out, I can see that my server is reporting that I'm in, I'm I've joined. Um, now if you want to host a, a game or uh, start up a server using a custom mutator. Um, I, I'll go over that very quickly. So I guess I'll go ahead and exit out. Come over here, shut down my server. So I've got a little bit of a cheat sheet here. The first commands are relatively the same. We specify that we want to open up our game, we want it to run in a server mode, we want to use the, the map DM deck. The next parameter is to say that we want to play team deathmatch. So we use the, the words uh, question mark game equals ut dot ut team game. That specifies team uh, team deathmatch. The next parameter, as you can see right here, question mark mutator, is how you set which custom mutator you want your game to use. You can use multiple mutators followed by commas. So for instance, uh, I'm going to have the, uh, the high speed mutator turned on. utgame.utmutator underscore speed, speed free. So I'll go ahead and start up the server using uh, I need to one more parameter. Dedicated equals true. So it's starting up the server like just like we did before. I can come back to the game, hit the tilde key. I can press up on the arrow keys to go back to uh, commands that I've done before. Hit enter. So as you can see, I'm a whole lot faster than I was before, meaning that the mutator is working and turned on. Play. You are on red. Well, this concludes my tutorial. I really hope that this is helpful. Have a, have a great day.